Rita, you do talk, don't you? Not just sing. I like you to call me Miss Franklin. Well, you know, when I when I pitched the film, I wanted it to be, I, I described it as a film about a woman with the greatest voice on earth who was struggling to find her voice. And I think that everybody can relate to that. I think it's a story of resilience, a story of coming into one's own power and finding one's own voice and trusting one's own voice, inner voice. If, if you're a woman, you may be looking for a way to find your own way and your independence and have your own voice. Well, it's there in the film, you know, or just being living every day, overcoming adversities. It could be a struggle with your faith. It could be, it's so many takeaways. That you know, freedom of expression, that artistic creativity, that you know, finding your voice, no matter what it is, can can definitely help you overcome a great deal of uh, obstacles and personal darkness, and also encourage a sort of uh, courage, you know, moving through your life and and getting involved with things that you know may help you or other people. Everybody goes through a time period where they don't know who they are, and I just think that watching Aretha struggle and triumph is so inspiring you don't have to be a superstar to you know to find the light at the end of the tunnel and i and i believe that this is a movie um, that could heal people as we watch her heal herself yeah.